preparing to live stream the meeting. And we are live. What is up, everyone? Thank you all so much for joining. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Uh, we're going to let some people come into the chat. I'm going to go ahead and post out the links. So if you guys are able to get here a little bit early, I really do appreciate it. Looks like we got some people in the chat already. What's going on, guys? We're going to be starting in just a moment. Uh, I've just got to go ahead and spread this link around and we'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> what's going on everybody swoops what's up argilis de olio what's up kaizen what's up man david how's it going all right darko rc hey hey how's it going guys thank you so much for joining today we've got about 20 people in the chat i'm going to be posting these links around go ahead and get some people invited to our live stream All right, you guys, what is going on? Thank you so much for joining. Man, we got a lot of people joining us here. Let's see, John, what's up? Logic PTK, hello, hello. Binky Beowulf, hey, what's up, man? Good day, good day from Aussieland, nice. Hope you're doing well. Hey guys, uh, really quick, could I just get a quick audio and video check? Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me all, uh, hear me all right? Nice, we got a lot of people here. Shazim, hey dude, what's up, man? What's up, Cosman? Hey guys, Shweta's in the house. Hey there, what's up, Shweta? Thanks for joining. Let's see, we got G Star. What's up, brother? Hey, Suseth, thanks so much for joining. Okay, very cool. So, guys, audio is on point, visuals is on point. Let's go ahead and get started. So wanted to go ahead and do a live stream just to say thank you all so much. So we've recently crossed over 10,000 subscribers, huge milestone for the channel. I just wanted to show my love and appreciation. Wanted to do a giveaway. So today we're just gonna be announcing the winners. Um, I figured let's go ahead and go bigger with this giveaway. So we're gonna do three giveaway winners today. Uh, so really excited to share that with you all. Let's go ahead and jump over. Let me see if I've got the Brave browser pulled up here. Yeah. So guys, today, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be going over. Uh, so sharing with you guys the winners for our giveaway. Also, today's Ada Lovelace Day. So really cool. Excited about that. Uh, if you guys were able to check out our compilation video, just um, kind of highlighting some of the women in our community, uh, Ladies of Cardano. So definitely check out that video. It was a lot of fun. Big thank you to all the ladies that were able to participate. I really enjoyed it. Um, so we're talking about Ada Lovelace, just going over some of her background, talking about why she is important uh, as far as the uh, background for Cardano and the history behind it. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, leaving the floor open up to you guys. If you have any questions, you know, for all of our delegators, thank you guys so much for all the support. So just want to be, a, it's going to be a really chill live stream today. All right, let me see what we got here in the chat. Hold on, guys, bear with me just one second, making sure we got everything. If you guys want to share this link around, please feel free. Okay. So guys, let me see if I can quickly go ahead and share my screen. Let me see if I got you guys here. 
Okay, so I want to share my screen. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Very cool. All right, so guys, as far as the giveaway winners, I just wanted to go ahead and get started with that. Um, so our video actually did really well. It's incredible to see the amount of participation that we had in that video. Um, so lots of comments, really just incredible to hear from you all, just um, all the kind words of support. I know a lot of you guys have been here for a while just to see our growth and uh, it's really incredible to just be able to share this experience with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. As far as the first giveaway winners, I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. This is all going to be live, so you guys will be able to see the winners in real time. I'm going to copy that. So guys, three giveaway winners today. So fingers crossed. Let's see if you guys are some lucky winners in our chat today. Uh, as far as what we're giving away, we're doing some cool things with the Ink Whale. So shout out to the Ink Whale. I really love their merchandise. They've got a lot of cool things for Cardano fans. I'm actually repping a uh, pretty cool Cardano t-shirt. So if you guys do win some Cardano merchandise, I know you'll enjoy that. Uh, we're also doing some cool things with Tangem cards and also giving away a Ledger hardware wallet. All right, let's go ahead and see who we got here for the winner. Let's go ahead and start raffle. Let's do it. All right, Mike Van Wheelie. Okay, Cardano is the master of all blockchains. Nice. That's really cool. Appreciate the comment, Mike. Thanks so much for watching and participating in the giveaway. So guys, as far as how it's going to work, addressing all the winners in the giveaway, if you could, please be sure to reach out to me. You can contact me via DM on Twitter. Also just reach out via email. So Mike Van Wheerly, please go ahead and reach out to me. We'll go ahead and discuss what you'd like to have as far as your prize. If you're out of the US, not to worry, we'll be able to do something for you there. Uh, but yeah, please be sure to reach out if you are a winner of today's giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the name here and we'll move on to the next winner. Guys, fingers crossed. I would really love to see somebody from the chat be a winner. I think that'd be really awesome. All right, so congratulations to Mike. Let's go ahead and pick our second winner. All right, DRock5244. Excited about the new developments. Yep, rock on, DRock. I, I totally agree. I think it's going to be awesome, man. Exciting times ahead. Congratulations for being a winner. So please be sure to reach out. Uh, again, just a DM or an email would be awesome. So congratulations to DRock. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and pick our final winner. This is exciting. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the uh, enjoying this. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and pick our final winner. Let's go ahead and do that. Fingers crossed. Let's see, somebody from the chat. Mach 2 Egrin. All right, very cool. Great content again, Pratesh. Mach 2 Egrin, congratulations, man. So you are the third winner of our giveaway. Very excited. So if you could, man, please be sure to just reach out to me and we'll go ahead and get you some pretty awesome giveaway prizes. All right, you guys, very excited. Congratulations to all of our winners. That was a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for participating. Uh, if you didn't win this time around, not to worry. We're going to have plenty of giveaways in the future. I know there's so many things happening with Cardano. There's so many exciting developments. I want to make sure that you guys are able to have fun and be engaged with our channel. Really just appreciate all of your support. So thank you so much again to all of our winners. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chat.
Yeah, congrats to all. Really excited, really excited. So guys, as far as the format for today, now that we've got the giveaway winners uh, taken care of, I want to go ahead and just talk a little bit about uh, today being Ada Lovelace Day. And um, at the end of this, just really getting a floor up to you. If you're a delegator to Kaizen Stake Pool, you know, if you have any questions, just uh, talking about what we have going on, some updates as far as what you can expect from us going forward. Um, and yeah, you know, just having a really nice casual conversation. All right, very cool. So yeah, congrats to all the winners. Uh, Keith Porter says, nice to know we're all winners anyway with Ada. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, man. It's, a, it's an exciting experience. Really glad that uh, we're all part of such an amazing community. Shweta says, amazing giveaways. Yes, it's pretty awesome. I'm excited to give out some of these cool prizes. So Ada Lovelace Day, I actually um, was really interested to see this. So Ada Lovelace is going to be an English, English mathematician. Uh, she is the daughter of Lord Byron. So now the Byron era of Cardano was actually the first phase of the project. So really cool that we actually had that as the first kind of phase of the Cardano project. Now we're in Shelley and then we're preparing for Gogan, uh, but Ada Lovelace. So the entire cryptocurrency Cardano is running, basically Cardano Ada is named after Ada Lovelace. Uh, she has been called the first computer programmer for writing an algorithm for a computing machine in the mid 1800s. So we're talking way back, you know, as far as being able to figure out some of these complex mathematical problems by solving them using computers. Um, she was one of the first to do that. She was considered the first computer programmer. Really cool. So now let's take a look. As far as some of her early years, I guess we can just kind of go into a bit of who she was. Uh, so Ada Lovelace, born as Augusta Ada Byron on December 10th, 1815, was the only legitimate child of the famous poet Lord George Gordon Byron. Lord Byron's marriage to Lovelace's mother, Lady Anne Isabel, Milbank Byron was not a happy one. So Lady Byron separated from her husband only weeks after their daughter was born. A few months later, Lord Byron left England and Lovelace never saw her father again. Lovelace had an unusual upbringing from an aristocratic girl in the mid 1800s. As her mother's instance, tutors taught her mathematics and science. Such challenging subjects were not standard fare for women at that time, but her mother believed that engaging in rigorous studies would prevent Lovelace from developing her father's moody and unpredictable temperament. Well, I'm glad it kept her out of trouble, that's for sure. So <laughs> that's a pretty cool uh, story. So interesting upbringing. So, you know, she came from a kind of like a dynamic family background and uh, studied computers or studied math and science from a young age. So really cool. I think that's interesting. And I'm glad that we're able to celebrate some of her accomplishments, especially now, uh, as far as the ladies of Cardano involving women in blockchain, Really just amazing to see that legacy, so to speak. All right, so let's see here. Turning to the chat just real quick. If you guys haven't done so already, I definitely would recommend you check out the latest video. If you're interested in learning more about the uh, women in Cardano, I did a video with some of the ladies of Cardano and just kind of highlighted their stake pools and uh, let the channel uh, kind of showcase what they have going on. So definitely be sure to check out that video. I think you'll enjoy it. Cosman says, it's incredible how channels like this only have 10K subscribers. Yeah, we're in the growth phase. It's pretty awesome. I'm hoping that we can see many more as we go through this journey. Binky Beowulf, learning to code Haskell or Marlowe sites, please. Okay. Very good topic of discussion. Uh, so Binky, as far as where I would start, I did actually link a YouTube channel. If you're interested with Marlowe, uh, Professor Simon Thompson is research fellow at IOHK. Uh, he's gonna be a great resource as far as getting up to speed with Marlowe. Also, as far as education, definitely check out Udemy. They've got free courses for Plutus and Marlowe. That's where I would start. And um, also just to key you guys in, so what we're talking about with um, learning Plutus and Marlowe. So there's actually a proposal called Lovelace Academy. So I'm actually going to be talking more about this as the uh, end of the live stream. We're just going to be talking more about some things that you can expect from Kaizen Crypto uh, coming up pretty soon. So looking 
looking forward to that. Definitely be sure to join us for the live stream there. I think you'll enjoy it if you're looking for that type of content. Uh, yeah, great question. There's lots of information regarding Plutus and Marlowe. All right, so let's see. Hi, De Vogel says, what's one of your favorite Ada related projects, Kaizen? Uh, you know, one thing I'm really looking forward to since we're talking about Ada related projects, uh, Catalyst is probably one of my favorites so far. I think just being able to vote on different ideas from community members, I think that is really going to provide a lot of innovation behind uh, some of the ideas happening for Cardano. Uh, one thing I'm excited about tomorrow, if you're interested in NFTs on Cardano, this is just something I want to put out there. It's not a sponsorship or anything like that. But if you haven't already, definitely check out Cardano Kids. So they're doing something really cool with Cardano NFTs. Um, really going to be interesting to see how that shapes up, especially as we move towards Gogan, if these are actually going to be non-fungible tokens that have pretty much like a cap supply, like there's no more that's going to be created after the uh, initial sale. Going to be interesting to see what the NFT marketplace is going to look like for Cardano. So I'm excited about that. Um, definitely excited about a stable coin. Native assets really excite me because what we were looking at the other day was some of the D apps and smart contracts that actually have real use and utility on platforms like Ethereum. What we saw was that MakerDAO, Uniswap, so all these lending protocols, right? Like decentralized finance. I think a stable coin is going to play a pivotal role as it comes to Gogan. So native assets and stable coins are definitely another one. Great question. I really appreciate that. Uh, Neil says, just want to say thank you for all you do. Been appreciating seeing how those ADA rewards come in every five days. Hey, thank you so much. All of the delegators to Kaizen State Pool. Really appreciate all of you guys. I wanted to go ahead and leave the floor open up to you at the later part of this live stream, just to kind of talk about some things that you can expect. If you have any questions, of course, you guys know you can reach out to me anytime. Also feel free to join our free Telegram group. So it's t.me slash Kaizen Crypto Support. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Shweta says, Ada Lovelace is an inspiration. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Going way back. Ira says, what language did she write the code in? Actually, that's a great question. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's see if it actually says it here. Um, so we're talking about Ada Lovelace being the first computer programmer. So let us see if it even shows us here. Um, this is really just a biography on biography.com. And uh, yeah, let me see if I can answer your question here as far as the language. Ah, okay, so check this out. So in 1980, the US Department of Defense named a newly developed computer language, Ada, after Lovelace. Okay, I don't know if that's the answer to the question there, but uh, that's pretty interesting to know. So there's actually a programming language named after her. Yeah, she was actually a uh, poet, which is really interesting. I, uh, I definitely have a, a keen interest into poetry. So pretty cool to know that she had a way with words as well. So she studied advanced mathematics with the University of London. And let me see here. Lovelace got a chance to look at the machine before it was finished. So I guess we're talking about, uh, I guess we're talking about the early days of the computer. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't necessarily show in this article here. That's a great question though. I'll definitely have to look into that. Uh, so let's see if we can move on to that. Binky says, Forrest Gump is my intelligent twin. So Haskell for non-coder is the goal. Sweet, thank you. Uh, yep, have seen some of those too. Yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty amazing. You know, myself personally also, I don't necessarily come from a programming background. Uh, I'm a tech guy. You know, I definitely appreciate technology and I enjoy technology, but not necessarily having any type of programming experience. Haskell and um, Plutus and Marlowe, those are going to be an interesting thing to learn. Eduardo says, getting more ADA every five days. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. If you are a delegator to Kaizen Stake Pool, thank you all so much for your support. You guys know we've been really working hard to make sure that we can bring in some nice rewards for our delegators. So thank you all so much for the kind words. 
Uh, Guinness Speak says, I started a college fund for my grandkids on Kaizen. Thank you. Man, that means a lot. Your grandkids. Wow, that's incredibly special. Thanks so much. Steve, hi Kaizen from Warrington, UK. What's going on, Steve? Cheers. Thanks so much for joining. Ira says, got a meeting at 4.30. Okay, no worries. Thanks so much for stopping by, man. Vicky Beowulf, Lovelace Academy rocks. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So I want to go ahead and just touch on some of those things that are coming up for Kaizen Crypto. So as far as what we got going on with the YouTube channel, uh, of course, the live stream today announcing the three winners for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Also tomorrow, be sure to look out for another live stream. I'm really trying to pump out this quality content for you guys. I'm actually going to have the opportunity to speak with Ben from Citrus Pool. So another stake pool operator doing incredible things to help decentralize the network. Um, incredibly excited to get the chance to speak with him. I know he seems like a really chill guy. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then coming up on Friday, we're going to be doing another, probably a video. I don't know if uh, we're going to end up doing a live stream, but definitely keep an eye out for it. If you're interested in Lovelace Academy, I'm going to get the opportunity to speak with Maria, Keith, and Shweta about their proposal for Lovelace Academy. Hopefully they can kind of fill the community in on what we can expect with that proposal and uh, maybe just give us some ideas on what type of content is going to be included. So lots to look forward to. That's all going to be happening this week. So quite a bit to mark your calendars for. So definitely be sure to keep a lookout for all that. Nice. So guys, thank you so much for everybody joining. It looks like we got 55 people here in the chat. Just trying to see if I can answer any questions from our delegators. If you're a subscriber to the channel, really appreciate you guys. You know, we couldn't be doing this without you all. So thank you guys so much. It says Logan, I had 1800 stake. Now I only have a thousand because of that scam. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. So these scammers are getting pretty crafty. I saw that as well. So Charles Hoskinson had a like a spoofed account basically. So I think it was over a hundred thousand subscribers on this spoofed account and they were doing another ADA giveaway. So guys, please be sure to stay vigilant. Be sure to stay cautious. Cardano is not going to promote any type of giveaways or anything like that. I'm doing a giveaway here today because this is something I'm doing to give back to my subscribers. If anybody tells you to send ADA to an address, it is a scam. Please be sure to keep a lookout for that. Unfortunately, we have nefarious actors, especially within the cryptocurrency space. So if you are uh, seeing any of these scams on YouTube, the best thing to do is just go ahead and report it and uh, just ignore it. That's probably one of the best things you can do. Do not give any ADA away to anybody who says, if you send them X amount, you'll get double back in return. It's a scam. Jacob says, Jacob from Ghana, you rock Kaizen. Hey, Jacob, I appreciate you, man. We got viewers all the way from Ghana. That is incredible. Thanks so much for joining. Binky Beowulf says, are you going on to Hyper uh, Udu to help marketing? You know, as far as other platforms, I've been definitely looking into that. So there's Library, which is kind of like a decentralized content sharing platform. Um, so looking into that, I think we've actually got some videos uploaded there. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely need to look at other avenues as far as spreading awareness around the content that we're going to be producing. So yes, we'll definitely be looking at that. Shweta says, really excited to come on your channel on Friday. Yes, it's going to be an exciting conversation. I know a lot of people in the community are looking forward to hearing more of your thoughts. Um, I really enjoyed your conversation with Big Pay. I think that was great. You, you guys talked about a lot of good points, uh, especially around um, increasing awareness in India. So learned a lot from that. Um, also, I feel like the community would learn from hearing from Keith. I think that Keith has a lot to share as it comes to teaching about Haskell and Plutus and Marlowe. So it'll be a great conversation. I'm very excited about it. Guys, great questions. Keep them coming. This is awesome. Uh, Beyond Ellison says, what are the pros and cons of Daedalus versus Yoroi versus Ada Light? So that's a good question. I guess I can just do my best to kind of summarize maybe some of the benefits of each one. Um, now, Daedalus is going to be a full node. So you're going to have an entire copy of the blockchain with Daedalus. 
Um, it's going to be something that's an application on your computer. You have to download directly from their official website. It's going to take up the most space on your computer. A lot of people have experienced it. It does take a bit of time. Of course, with the improvements that they've made, it's really come a long way. It's a lot faster than it used to be. Uh, but Daedalus is going to be like one of those uh, if you're like a power user, you know, if you really want to gain the most features out of delegating, if you want to see the most statistics, uh, I would recommend Daedalus if you're really comfortable and you want to get the most features out of a certain wallet. Uh, Yoroi is going to be a desktop client, so it's going to be an extension for your browser. I actually would recommend Yoroi for those who are just getting started. I think that it's probably the most seamless user interface. Now it's actually integrated with Ledger and Trezor support as well. So if you hold your ADA on a hardware wallet, you're in luck with Ledger. I mean, you're in luck with Yoroi. Um, yeah, I would recommend Yoroi if you're just getting started. I think that as far as the user interface, very seamless and it's laid out very well. Um, ADA Lite is going to be, it's like a browser, right? So it's actually a website that you are going to. Um, so you actually have to type in the web browser adalite.io so with that being said, I would say that Ada Lite is probably going to be the least secure, not saying that the wallet itself is not secure. It's just that there might be phishing attempts with that because it is actually a website. There might be other websites that look exactly like that, but are not. And if you end up putting your Ada on the wrong wallet using the wrong uh, link, you could have some issues there. So I think that Ada Lite, I would just be a little bit careful. Make sure you go into the official site because in the web browser, you'll have to actually type in adalite.io. Um, so those are just some of the things that I like to look at. But for most people who are just getting started, definitely check out your Roy. It's a great wallet. John says, I flooded that fake YouTube channel scamming people of ADA with a warning. Yeah, that's a great thing to do, just warning people. You know, it, there's actually, there's bots that are in those chats. So if you're able to just kind of hop in there and say, hey, you know what, this is actually a scam, I'm sure you'll probably at least help a few people, if anything. Uh, but, you know, I guess just the biggest thing would be to bring awareness around that. It, unfortunately, it's still happening. YouTube has a lot of work to do in terms of protecting its users. It's very unfortunate. It's almost like, you know, just goes to the highest bidder. You know, these, uh, these scammers are just able to pay their way and just keep on doing the same thing, uh, but just getting more and more crafty with it. So... Yeah, just spread the word. If anybody tells you to send them ADA, it's a scam. Head the other direction. TC, what's up, my man? Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're doing well. Kaizen, good to see you. Can you tell us how many relay nodes the pool is running? Sure, so we're actually running two relays. Uh, we've got another relay attached to another block producer that's currently offline. It's, uh, it's intended to be used for node updates or if we do need any type of backups. So thank you so much for asking that question. I think that's a great question. We've got two relays that are currently online and we've got our core block producing node. Binky says, help support Kaizen, hit the like button. Yes, guys, smash that like button. If you're enjoying the live stream so far, I really appreciate it. King Cardano, good morning from Australia. Good day, mate. Thanks so much for joining. John says, hi, Pratesh. Does Daedalus or your Roy Chrome Mobile uh, has the withdrawal ADA features integrated into the wallet? Could you enlighten us? Um, so as far as, uh, I'm not sure if you're talking about just like sending ADA or are you talking about actually claiming your rewards? Uh, if you're looking to claim your rewards, I do believe that they've got the button laid out. So it's within the user interface. I think that we're just waiting a bit on the functionality. I uh, could be mistaken on that. I'll have to go back in and double check. Uh, but yeah, as far as being able to withdraw your ADA, your ADA are never locked up when you delegate to a stake pool. So you are always free to be able to move your funds around if you want to delegate to another pool, if you want to send your ADA to an exchange a different wallet, anything like that, your ADA is never locked up. As far as being able to claim your rewards, hopefully that feature should be available soon. If it's not already, I will be sure to double check for you. Thanks so much for your question. Logan says, support Kaizen. I bother him all the time. He always gets back to me. 
Yeah, no bother at all, man. You know, I really do try my best to answer all of the questions and comments. It is a lot. I'm not going to lie. You know, we've got quite a few delegators now, but I feel like every single one of you guys is a part of our family. You know, we've really built this community and I do my best, even if it's just a quick response, even if I just hop in the Telegram chat. You guys know you're always able to just reach out to me. If you have a question, I'm here to help. Um, so I really appreciate that. That means a lot. I really do my best to try and support you guys. King Cardano says, YouTube should be held accountable for people being scammed. Yeah, I agree with you. Unfortunately, that's just, that's just the world we're living in. Eduardo says, how has it been running a stake pool? Any problems? Eduardo, thanks so much for the question. Running a stake pool has probably been one of the most rewarding experiences for me. Uh, it's, it's led me down this road of just being able to meet so many incredible people and learn so many new things. As far as any problems that I've encountered, uh, I wouldn't say it's something directed to me personally, but unfortunately, the person who was helping me, uh, his name is the Duckpool. Uh, I talked about Duckpool all the time. He's probably one of the best friends that I had in this entire community. He helped me along. He held my hand throughout the entire process of starting my stake pool. And really sad to see that he, uh, he had to throw in the towels on his stake pool. So I think where we're at right now, as far as the game of running a stake pool, it's really like social Darwinism, so to speak. So survival of the fittest, really, as far as running a stake pool. Creating a stake pool is not necessarily the hard part. The hard part is going to be attracting delegators. A lot of these stake pools right now, they're running, and they're running at a loss because they're not able to mint blocks because they don't have the adequate delegation to their pool. So not necessarily an issue with their pool. You know, Their pool might be running fine, ready to go. It's just that they don't have the customer base. They don't have that attention built around their brand or their pool. So that's the problem that a lot of these newer pools are facing. And um, it, it was just really heartbreaking for me to see that actually happen to a really close friend. So uh, that's, a, you know, that's probably what I would say if you're interested in starting a stake pool, just keep an eye out on something like that. You, know, you definitely have to be aware that it's not just the technical requirements of being able to build the pool, but it's also being able to create a platform and an audience so that you can attract delegators so you can actually start minting blocks. So great question. I really appreciate that. All right. So guys, we got a few people joining us. So guys, thank you all so much for joining. Really nice to see you all. Uh, can you explain what the is this is the slider in the wallet guys i gotta do my best with the with the words you know and we gotta keep it g gotta get that uh make sure the channel stays monetized that's actually something i want to make sure we can do with the catalyst proposal if we do get funding we'll definitely have to figure something out there with monetization on these platforms um but yeah the slider in Daedalus. so essentially that's just the amount of ada that you're intending on delegating I don't think that it's really optimized just yet because I think that they're just now getting the integration with all the metadata with the Smash server. Uh, the latest node release version 1.2.1.1 kind of has that built in. So I think they're just now starting to get that feature rolled out. But essentially the slider is so that let's say if you're going to delegate X amount of ADA, the slider will allow you to see the rankings in Daedalus, the uh, most ideal stake pools according to what we're seeing with how they've arranged the rankings. So I would say take it with a grain of salt. It's probably better to go still with your best judgment and finding a good pool operator that you have an open line of communication with. Just like this, what I'm doing with you guys, you know, you're able to talk to me anytime. Uh, but yeah, you know, just keeping an eye on that. That's what the slider is for. Basically giving you the optimal pool to delegate to based on the amount you'd like to delegate. Nice money making channel. Hi Kaizen, what's happening? What's happening, man? Thanks so much for joining the live stream today. Glad you could be here. Binky, this is a great question. Binky, thanks so much for asking this. What is Cardano doing to support smaller pools? This is the million dollar question. So I think, you know, this is from just my understanding. I know that the Cardano Foundation is actually delegating a portion of their ADA to community pools. Um, Big Pay actually did a recap video and he kind of highlighted this, but essentially what they're doing is they're taking a portion of their available ADA and they're actually delegating it to community pools. So there's some guidelines that you had to meet in order for um, 
being eligible for that. But yeah, essentially their Cardano Foundation is helping with that. I know IOG pools later on down the road, I think once we get to a certain D parameter threshold, they're gonna actually make their stake pools private. So for all the community delegators that are actually delegating to IOG pools, I think after, and this could be a different parameter, but I believe it's the D parameter. I think once that parameter gets to a certain point, they're actually going to make their pools become private. So community can't delegate to those pools. They have to go to community pools. Um, other than that, I would say it's really just a matter of the community helping educate delegators. I think that's probably one of the biggest responsibilities that I carry. I know a lot of other uh, content creators as well, you know, they do their best to try and educate. Really, it's just making sure that people are informed when they're delegating. You don't want to go to a pool such as IOG if it's oversaturated. And you know, a lot of people still have to kind of get up to speed on a lot of these technical terms. So that's a great question, Binky. Thanks so much for asking that. Marco, sup Kaizen, what's up, man? Thanks so much for joining. TC, whatever happened to the rock pie you started with? Yeah, so that's a good one, man. Thanks so much for asking that. We ended up going with the rock pie on the test net. So the test net um, actually was able to run the Rust code for the ITN. So we were rocking on the ITN using the rock pie. Um, as far as creating the stake pool so that we were ready for mainnet, I knew that we were probably gonna need something a little bit more substantial. So we ended up building the two PCs. We had the budget PC and the other one for the bare metal server. Currently, Kaizen stake pool is running on the beast. So we got the big one that's running the main stake pool. Um, but as far as doing stuff with the Raspberry Pi, I was tinkering around with it. And I definitely want to put out some content related to it. But I was thinking about it. And I know Big Pay, he and I actually go back and forth quite a bit. You know, now that we're kind of getting an idea of what to expect as it comes to creating content now going forward. So I guess the risk involved would just be creating a tutorial video and then you know, putting out the information and maybe if somebody has a question or maybe they're not as proficient and they would need more help and more guidance, really just creating a video that is able to really touch on every single point that is needed for running a stake pool. So I was thinking, and I'm going to do this pretty soon. I'm going to reach out to Alessandro Conrad. He's actually the creator of Barry. It's a pie pool. So he is actually the one that put together this guide for being able to get the Haskell node running on a Raspberry Pi. So I, I did want to reach out to him. I feel like if anybody deserves any type of credit for getting a Haskell node running on a Rock Pi or a Raspberry Pi, it's definitely going to be him. So if he's able to come onto the show and maybe do like a tutorial, that would be awesome. Quarter Crawler says, Duck was cool. Then I got hit and lost everything. Yeah, it's it's really unfortunate. It, it hit me pretty hard too. Uh, Duck was a really close friend, but I'm hoping that maybe if things kind of change as the ecosystem matures, you know, hopefully he can come back and join us. So. All right, guys, well, um, it looks like we are pretty much wrapping up here for our live stream. I just wanted to quickly go ahead and get on here maybe for like half an hour or so and just share with you guys the winners for our giveaway. Just answer any questions from the community. Talk about Ada Lovelace Day and uh, some things that you can expect coming up this week. Uh, so for those of you who are just joining us, thank you all so much. I did go ahead and announce the winners of our giveaway at the beginning of our live stream. Um, if you did want to find out who those winners are, just be sure to watch the beginning portion of this live stream. I'll actually go ahead and shout them out right now. So big congratulations to Mike Van Weerly, also DRock5244 and mock 2 egrin So thank you guys, everybody who did participate. I really do appreciate it. If you didn't win this time around, it's not to worry. Be sure to stick around. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of giveaways coming up in the future. Also, as far as some things to look forward to coming up this week, I'm actually going to have the opportunity to speak with Ben from Citrus Pool. So he seems like a really nice guy. I wanted to go ahead and chat with him. We're going to be doing a live stream tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So if you wanted to join us for that, be sure to mark your calendars. Also, something that's very exciting is going to be uh, we're talking to Maria Karma. We're talking to Keith from Safe Stack, and we're talking to Shweta from Block. And we're going to be discussing Lovelace Academy and their proposal for the Catalyst Fund. 
So exciting things coming up for our channel. Uh, big milestone, 10,000 subscribers. Really appreciate all the support. For those of you guys who have delegated to Kaizen and Stakepool, of course, you guys know, I appreciate all the love. You guys are always able to reach out to me anytime. If you haven't done so already, and if you want to have some type of uh, community or group, if you do have any questions, please also feel free to join our free Telegram group. It's going to be t.me forward slash Kaizen Crypto Support. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here with just some last minute questions, and then we'll go ahead and sign off for today. Dave says, Kaizen, love you. Man, you're awesome. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much, guys. Binky says, hit the like button. Yes, guys, if you enjoyed the live stream, be sure to hit the like button. Yeah, yep. Friday's going to be one to watch for sure. John says, congrats to all the winners until the next draw giveaways. Very cool. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate everybody who was able to join us. Shweta says, great touch base on all the topics. Very cool. Awesome. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the live stream today. Thank you all so much for joining. I had a lot of fun. Again, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. If you are considering a stake pool, consider some of these smaller stake pools. Also, if you wanted to support us, Kaizen Stake Pool is available for your delegation. And in celebration of Lovelace, Ada Lovelace Day, be sure to check out our recent video showcasing the ladies of Cardano. So guys, that is what I have for you all. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.